okay uh, friends uh, can you see me this is session 3 of uh, nptel on uh, risk based engineering there are two objective of this session uh, uh, one that i want to have interaction with the uh, with the learner um, it is basically on uh, first is uh, the subject as such which is more important for me uh, and uh, the second will be uh, to Uh, just understand if they have any so uh, so um, let me start let me say why this subject risk based engineering uh, as i introduced during uh, during the uh, first session or even in the first uh, um, in my introduction uh, risk is a component of uh, all walks of our life if not everything and uh, whether it is finance or whether it is engineering whether it is a social uh, setup um, or maybe agriculture and other uh, climate change or so this has become a important item um, now it is a, it's a it depends in certain uh, sector risk is less or limited and uh, uh, now satyavir uh, singh uh, mr he says why reliability uh, plus r1 into r2 as well as uh, why this arrow uh, as uh, term in two parallel block how can be okay so i'll try to explain uh, uh, r1 into r2 that means there are two component if there are they are in parallel then reliability of one reliability up to plus they can two they can uh, both be operating so the system serves uh, i think it is a question for uh, number 3 uh, you are uh, is is it weak for is it weak for assignment so uh, for this um, let me go back to the assignment i'll get back to you okay uh, uh, i got the things uh, you are saying why it is minus and why it is plus um uh, see this is a question i am asking you actually so which one is correct that you to tell okay so Uh, please put i think this is okay uh, question number 3 question number 3 um yeah um question number 3 and then um, specific answer is uh, question number 3 so so um, um what what i am trying to tell you is what i am trying to tell you is if you solve this equation for system reliability okay um normally reliability is not taken directly it is basically failure probability uh, and then of one failure probability of two and two failure probability of two three so there that one one term get cancelled and and then and then you have uh, uh, because one is either either one is operating or two is operating and then these two come together so that term beca becomes minus uh, r1 into r2 so now you have been knowing by this time that the answer is d actually so okay but you, i think what you, what you can do is you can solve the uh, problem and you will find yourself it is something like uh, the common cause failure Uh, we have yeah yeah i understood i think everyone is star wall r1 plus r2 minus r1 r2 no i think i understood I this understood the solution to this whole issue one second uh, what we can do is we can keep the it is something like uh, the common cross failure yeah. we have yeah yeah i understood i think everyone is star wall r1 plus r2 minus r1 r2 no i think i understood this is the solution to this whole issue one second uh, what we can do is we can keep the it is something like uh, the common cross failure uh, yeah, yeah, i understood i think you want to 
सिस्टम रिलायबिलिटी इज R1 either R1 because it is a parallel system that means system one operates R system two operates R system R1 R2 and R1 R2 is something like you know uh, it will not allow this plus two plus addition going further it is like common cause failure you know so uh, if these two are reliable then so what we can do is uh, you refer um, I think I would have given this uh, uh, formulation also. Uh, but if not, uh, how these equations are worked on? They are, they start from the failure term actually, you know, and then uh, the, what we say either one fail or uh, uh, you know second fail uh, and both fail. So then, so that way it it comes as a combination of these two. Uh, uh, if you feel like uh, not now, um, we can uh, we can uh, we can see the derivation in the any book that is parallel system reliability. Okay. And if you don't get, then you then you write to me that you are not getting this and all, you know, so something like that. Okay. Uh, okay. So, um, um, any any other person, uh, Satyavir, solve this matter in parallel block. Okay. Now, any next question we can go. So we have, uh, okay. Sufal is asking, uh, question 10, assignment 9. You can speak your uh, live instead of typing. Yeah. Um, uh, Satyavit ji, um, the, it is like this. Uh, the, the exponential model, uh, exponential model works for the constant failure. It is not other, otherwise round. If, if the failure rate, hazard rate are constant, then exponential, exponential model applies. As you can see in, even in our viable distribution, beta is equal to 1. So you have this, uh, uh, you have this uh, constant failure rate. It, um, uh, why it is uh, equa this equation uh, for uh, exponential model? Why we call it like this? It is a memorialized function. It is not assumed constant. We assume failure to be constant. That's why we use exponential distribution. So uh, uh, it is otherwise round uh, the way you have put up the question. Um, exponential, uh, exponential distribution is memoryless distribution. That means it doesn't remember what was there in the past. It takes into account um, the, uh, the, it is, doesn't have memory. So that's why it, it is used uh, for the uh, tap curve, the middle useful life period, uh, you know. But suppose if you are there before that, that is in a de uh, decreasing failure rate or increasing failure rate, then we cannot use uh, exponential distribution there. We have to go for Weibull and assess which distribution applies. So please uh, be clear on this. Exponential, we don't assume. We assume that our failure rates are constant. And uh, very frankly speaking, uh, it, it is a very good question. If I use a complex distribution, then uh, first of all, I have to uh, plot the failure rate in that system. And on that exponential uh, gra uh, uh, probability pa paper, okay, if the line is uh, straight, you know, like we have seen for one transport power failure, and we try, try to assess the distribution there. So it was like, uh, uh, it was going like a straight line, you know. So and uh, and coefficient of variation, if we don't even assume, we see that. But problem is that exponential distribution um, serves very well uh, in practical situation. Because if I use a, let, let, uh, for example, if I use normal distribution or uh, even, even if I use a log normal distribution or viable distribution, then everywhere uh, the models are very complex. Okay, 
and in real life one is assumption second thing is by practice also we make it exponential distribution uh, because uh, because so, youtube volume of on sir uh, i i uh, let me open youtube and uh, chat box chat box that is better actually i am doing now like we do in studio now that is better okay so okay so youtube is so um so let's say there is a setup company now some equipments are operating by doing maintenance we uh, we uh, by doing maintenance we make them as new as possible so that means failure rates were going up we brought it so if you take average it will follow an exponential distribution because there was no aging right in the, but once aging starts then this uh, increasing failure rate will not come down okay and then we replace the equipment so practicality if you see exponential distribution simple distribution and uh, third thing is assumption is that our failure rates are following a uh, uh, constant failure model that is exponential distribution it is like this now the questions are there in general can go okay on. now uh, if wasa i'll be i'll share this mail id to uh, sapir and then so now let us go to the other questions so one is asking in general uh, generic algorithm survival of fit fittest concept also see that it's there uh, but it is not going down here okay here chat, chat me here it is it's going now you have to scroll uh, uh, no. the cursor on there abhi hai um vijay shri pali can we solve question 8 assignment number 9 Two two hands open to go up down. Question seven. Assignment nine. Question eight. eight. Assignment Question eight. Question. Estimate the uh, estimator for lambda. We are trying to have estimator for lambda. Uh, what we we are discussing here is the maximum likelihood. function for exponential distribution lambda k is estimator and i think this i have i have put uh, uh, taught you in the class you see that slide how we come to uh, lambda um, uh, uh, we start with the modeling then we take len of uh, natural log of these two terms then we go for minimization and maximization optimum and then the at uh, uh, t is equal to 0 that is when the minima or maxima has come uh, then we assume that equation i think you see it's very very simple actually so this i have given in my slide probably there is uh, i don't think we should solve it again uh, satyavir singh number 8 assignment 9 assignment ka satyavir singh not sir okay okay uh, the assignment number i called assignment number uh, the question that i have discussed uh, they are saying estimate the estimator of lambda yeah. so far so are in generic algorithm survivor of fittest concept also there at each stage uh, option i think you are talking about uh, uh, genetic algorithm uh, which i gave you the example uh, the whole procedure from uh, mutation crossover and there are four steps uh, the survival of fittest is the answer final that option has not been if i have uh, if i have uh, explained that problem i don't know i i'm not sure whether i have covered that thing in the, in this uh, uh, lecture but uh, based on my experience of uh, i think uh, um, so there in genetic algorithm first is randomization 
and and in our reliability it works like this uh, if i do optimization using a simplex approach okay if i do using a simplex approach then uh, then what we have is uh, local minima chances okay uh, so what you do is you randomize first the whole and then from the pickup from different zone it will start and then uh, then uh, crossover and mutation uh, so randomization crossover mutation and final optimization so this will tell you uh, the, basically this is to avoid local minima that means problem should not get uh, should not get optimized using uh, considering the local data you should take a global view of this thing so survival of fittest is inherently part of it to answer your question if you use genetic algorithm now i'm not sure whether i have covered this uh, uh, optimization procedure for genet uh, using genetic algorithm uh, but yes that is what it means and i have a paper on that if you feel like you send your email address i'll send it to you thank you now uh, so far swar assignment 11 question 5 nahi nahi yaar i think i am not sitting with all my assignment please uh, satyavar singh why coefficient relation r2 is equal to 0.8 to 0.9 why not one oh, no 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 you got it right what i have told there you uh, there is generally we get this number but one you will not get because because data will not exactly sit on the uh, you know that na for any experiment random random uh, random uh, process is an inherent, inherent to any process so like reliability can never be one it can be 9.999 whatever but it cannot be one so that's why 0.91 uh, why not one because if, even if you get 0.8 to point this is a acceptable range i told you so best of the best you can have r square i think you are asking about r square that is coefficient of correlation so uh, if it is 0.8 uh, you might feel okay but if you want to go for more regression then do more experiment and at least you should come to this benchmark of this is a benchmark 0.91 if you can go beyond that like in my own exercise i had gone to, uh, to 0.94 or so but then these are acceptable figure below that the confidence will not be there probably uh, is good that you ask question if i it, if there was a void somewhere in my presentation so good that it got clarified it should be more than you can say for acceptable uh, that linearity or whatever that distribution we are following and the data represents data representation uh, is confirm well if it is above 0.91 Point eight also will do because you know the kind of uncertainty you can absorb, you know. So, but point nine one is good actually. Okay, if any more questions, so if I go up and if I see, I think Safal and Satyabir Singh ji asking questions. Uh, 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 can I know how many people are there in this uh, uh, session? Sai. okay actually satyavir ji i'll tell, i'll advise you uh, you have to go through the because i am mostly i am seeing i am repeating what i have taught in the class you know so uh, now you are doing some post graduate course so i am telling all all of you here who are listening to this uh, lecture now you are more than btech so um, you have you can explore once a theme has been taught to you you can explore from book and now uh, there was a time when internet was not there but in now on, on internet you you get answer in the click so uh, let us try to explore ourselves because if you look for one answer you will get 10 more you know so um, uh, so um, uh, yeah this is how it is actually so please explore yourself uh, you know because this is a good question answer session but uh, question should be of uh, satyavir singh its a solution r upon t is so its a solution r upon t what satyavir singh question number 8 assignment something no no i think you have to explore and uh, then ask question your questions are good no doubt but again uh, if you have any discrepancy then then also we can all see like this is what our procedure was if, if any discrepancy is there there then also we should be able to find out i think i encourage you to ask question uh, now let us see if any any new question is there here uh, 
सत्यवीर सिंह सत्यवीर सिंह सही हुआ सत्यवीर सिंह सत्यवीर सिंह सत्यवीर सिंह अच्छा ओनली सत्यवीर सिंह इज आस्किंग क्वेश्चन सुना कॉफिशियंट ऑफ कोरिलेशन शेल बी कॉफिशियंट ऑफ कोरिलेशन वैल्यू शेल बी जीरो टू वन यस इट कैन बी जीरो जीरो टू वन जीरो तो नहीं रहेंगे बिकॉज देर विल बी सम डेटा some de- outlier will be there outlier they uh, they bring down it any anything you know so then you have to uh, visually you have to see that outlier and remove that outlier so yeah but the range is 01 uh, there is no doubt on that but normally for even the worst case of the data uh, you get uh, something like uh, 0.7 0.6 something like that you know so but the- those are not acceptable data actually फैक्टर्स आर रेंडमाइजेशन and uh, then optimization learning rate such that the local minima can be avoided yeah so uh, uh, so and all these things you do reduce it and the rest are all process so question 5 na question 5 okay आंसर गुड that you are all uh, that, that is, was uh, giving an answer to coefficient uh, going to correlation hmm theek hai theek hai ma'am is asking question date assignment one assignment nine is with you acha you already discussed uh, already discussed actually okay so uh, if if uh, if uh, you are not having any questions then uh, i think i'll you see the chat there are a lot of questions go down go down nahi abhi उट because in next one week you are going to go for exam okay um, i had i see i was really uh, feeling bad that some of you uh, had uh, uh, your answer was correct but I, sometimes uh, one was that tenth power minus 6 uh, uh, or so so that minus was missed so that was uh, you know like you can say whether Um, it, in translation, it goes from one desk to another, another to third desk, and then it gets lost. Otherwise, in or, original question paper, it was minus sign only. That was one thing. Uh, another question I saw that your expon uh, exponential terms are not allowed, and that was a limitation of uh, our system actually. You know, so I feel really sorry because when student they solve the problem, but madam told me just now that uh, uh, in main exam they will. Uh, they will normalize that means they will remove that question okay uh, you, uh, so where is saying sir can you ask uh, put decimal points uh, to fill in the blanks question he saying last question see that last question what is asking uh, please can you provide more reference for ann and ga more reference ek minute for artificial neural network Uh, i would say the best approach will be that you uh, i'm uh, i'm asking satyavir singh's question uh, you just have a uh, uh, you know uh, paper just write an and uh, uh, publication and you know n number of publication and now nn has increased uh, uh, the complexity has gone uh, very high uh, because now it is a main tool for data analytics and all 
so you will find uh, that uh, convolution network so many other networks are there and you can really see and you just give, have to give reference nowadays no, no, no it's not uh, required to have a book actually so if i give one book i have five six book lined up here but i don't i know, normally when i go for advanced research i don't go because there are past knowledge you know so uh, you just go to the net i think these are the things uh, it comes to us naturally okay, let me see uh, if you want to learn nn then also there are simple algorithm with the four nodes the one node output and then uh, you know learning uh, coefficient uh, momentum coefficient and then you have a sigmoid function that is a uh, you know Yes. Algorithm Last there. but one, ask answer hmm. other people's questions also. Last but one is there. Why do you think? Uh, fill in the blank for a question. Better to specify the number of number of decimals. No, no, I understood. I understood your uh, one question that nine point two six was the answer something, and uh, I rounded up. You know, yes, I understood. You now see that's why I'm saying. Ki, allow me to talk about the final paper because when I designed the final uh, paper. I have kept in uh, mind uh, what are the difficulties you faced um, during your assignments, and that way assignment was very useful. At least in your main exam, you will not miss the mark. So my first instruction is because this is a limitation of the system that I cannot write ten to the minus six. There is no provision of writing exponential term. Point number one. Point number two. How many digits you should uh, use? That like you know, always a uh, quantity has got a fraction part and the integer part. So I have said x into y uh, into ten raised to power minus uh, minus z or plus z, z whatever. So that means now that all those uh, problems of uh, uh, which I saw, I was at, uh, uh, I was feeling bad, you know, ki this confusion. But you know, now at this this uh, new systems have come. Uh, wherein uh, you don't have any chance to intervene, you know. So, but let me let me assure you, Madam has promised me in final exam, and my instruction itself uh, has been that uh, uh, if you sorry, please read those three uh, equation before you start the paper, um, you know. So one of the thing is uh, that you know uh, you you should not use exponential term because my system doesn't allow me. Then second thing was you if you write nine point two five nine five six now. Uh, the practice has been that after two you should uh, round off. So that rounding off and uh, that you wrote uh, nine point two five nine seven something something, oh, it, it did not become two six. So I I I uh, I, am, I have spoken to the IIT. Next time we'll we'll remove this drawback and we'll give instruction, like I have given instruction in my final paper now. Today only you know finalize it. So that is number one. Number two. While uh, referring to chi-square uh, chi chart and normal distribution, uh, you have to read the uh, degree of freedom in chi-square chart and then percentage, 5%, 10%. See, normally you will be using only two figures, 5% and 95% uh, you know. So for 90% confidence interval, that is, we are talking about the uncertainty. So please don't miss, uh, uh, don't miss on those nearby column. Be very because those tables are looking very, uh, the font size is very small. So both the tables are there, and I have put in instruction itself that chi-square table and this thing is uh, available at the back of the uh, last page of the paper. Uh, okay, and uh, the uh, first instruction was like you know, each question carries two marks, but wherever it is one or three not two it has been mentioned so just have a overview of the paper and see uh, which question you have to attempt uh, early um, and you know which question you can attempt later on because finally the objective is to get maximum mark so just uh, go through the a cursory look you can give so these three instruction number one and i i have at least at my level if i if the next time NPTEL course will be there, this problem will not come. Okay, We were not aware that exponential part cannot be uh, rounded. And then digit part cannot be rounded off by the software, you know. Okay, And the second um, uh, thing was that uh, some questions are not new, but they are related actually, whatever has been taught. But most of the questions, um, you can say 70% or 75% there, whatever has been taught in the class. So you should feel relieved. Uh, and it is there as a pattern also in the exam okay 
<laughs> I would like to add something if I'm allowed. Actually, mm. I was answering a lot, lot of questions in the Swayam forum. and uh, uh, lo- uh, there were a lot of questions regarding assignment 9 i just wanted to clarify that uh, we spoke to the nptel team in iit madras and they uh, uh, because the so, uh, there was a mistake on the team's part or some editorial issue uh, and your answer in spite of being right it was considered wrong uh, uh, so we actually uh, discarded the question so there will not be any effect on your total like you know aggregate or percentage of the assignment taken and that was the only solution given to us we actually asked them to uh, uh, ask uh, like give you grace mark or you know uh, uh, if your answer is right but the thing is we are also understanding the uh, forum uh, and it's very new to us so now we are giving everything in range and uh, in your final question paper most of the uh, all the questions are uh, object of types so um, uh, i don't think the same co- uh, mistakes will be repeated uh, and um, uh, everything will be specified in the uh, in in the question with hint or you know uh, all that so you won't be having any issues any further and uh, regarding the previous assignment 9 question number 9 and 10 and also sometimes 7 question number 7 all these questions have been eliminated and that was the only solution given to us by nptel team thank you thank you saili this was very uh, important uh, you know uh, we will try to work with you that you know as far as possible uh, you are not put to uh, disadvantage you know so um, this is what it is so uh, now since the exams are cl- uh, very closed i would say please read always in any course you will find some gap area um gap area and you have to refer to literature that is available um i am a researcher so even now i depend a lot on uh, internet open ended solutions and then and i think it suffices yeah and i but second feeling is is good that to have some book in your shelf that you can refer any time so but initial work goes on by seeing at that thing uh, so for uh, swar madam um, yeah swar so, madam uh, uh, provide more reference to in it i think uh, we have question part we have uh, we have wind it up um, but if you uh, ellen rich during in uh, my time when i did r and d in 1996 92 96 that time i was using ellen rich so very one of the best book on uh, in and our artificial intelligence so if you want you can e l a i n ellen rich r i c h or something spelling you know Um, but that was very really old book. I might be having that in my shelf. I don't know. So this is what. So Sular Swar, Madam, thank you, Sir and Madam. Um, so I think I can. Uh, can I wish you all the best for the exam? Okay. Uh, I would like all all of you. Uh, this is a new subject. Certainly, you will have difficulty because this subject has been created through one book. My, my book is there. Probably you can ask for the reference. Uh, this book is again the title is same. Risk based engineering. um you know but it is a very expensive book um if you can buy this base engineering uh, uh same name as verde uh, verde and pet verde and my counterpart is pet uh, professor pet okay so uh, if, if you want uh, so if you want you can buy this book uh, another book i re- i wrote in uh, 2000 23 that is a risk, risk conscious operations management so these two book will give you enough what what i am trying to say risk which will be the course next course if you want okay this is again varde and so you can uh, these are the two books and uh, um, in reliability and all uh, even if you go to uh, uh, you know uh, any open open ended public uh, platform you can find these books um i would say thank you for joining this course um, because take it from me any f- field you choose this subject is going to be useful for you and then you will realize ki what you have learned in this 3 uh, weeks course and you will cherish that decision the way i have cherished this decision um, to get into this uh, risk assessment and reliability and all that so thank you very much uh, i wish you all the best i hope all of you will get marks to your satisfaction Okay and uh, okay thank you once again bye take care